Meghan Markle married Prince Harry in a lavish ceremony in 2018. However, her wedding dress was remarkably similar to another royal wedding dress. Princess Angela of Liechtenstein, a Panamanian American, wore a very similar design when she married Prince Maximilian of Liechtenstein in New York City back in 2000. Both dresses have bateau necklines and share the same clean modern aesthetic. While Meghan Markle's neckline was a bit wider than Angela's, both women kept their jewelry simple and accessorized with tiaras worn far back on their heads, flowing veils, and their hair pulled into low buns. On Angela's wedding day, she wore an elegantly simple white dress designed by herself with a bateau neckline and long sleeves. When the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were married in 2018, people spotted the similarities between Princess Angela's and Meghan Markle's wedding ensembles. Many royal commentators and fans have wondered if Meghan drew inspiration from Princess Angela. One wrote, Meghan, you are not special. Your penchant for shameless copying knows no bounds. Meghan vs. Princess Angela of Liechtenstein, a real amazing person of color who joined a royal family, who you copied thinking no one would notice, but we did. Unlike you, Angela has been a graceful addition to a royal family. Obviously, this user is very biased with a lot of hate towards Meghan. Known as Angela Gisela Brown, Princess Angela was born in Panama in 1958 and eventually moved to New York City, where she met Prince Maximilian in 1997 at a party. She was a fashion designer who attended Parsons School of Design. When Harry and Meghan wed at Windsor Castle in 2018, the couple had one of the biggest celebrity guest lists a royal event has ever seen. While the celebration of love was a universally joyous occasion, one A-list celeb has revealed for her it was a nightmare. Amongst the star-studded crowd was Megan Suits co-star Patrick J. Adams and his wife, Pretty Little Liar star, Troyan Belisario. Troyan reflected on the wedding and revealed she had extreme anxiety about her invite for two reasons. Quote, one, because I was trying to conceal the fact that I was five months pregnant, I was absolutely positive that it was going to be revealed. The second reason is a little more surprising. I also had extreme anxiety about, what are they called, those hat things? Troyan was daunted by the headpiece and what type of message the wrong choice would send. They look ridiculous unless you're in the 1930s. You could get one that is an absolute piece of art, but then are you being too vain and trying to call too much attention to yourself? Or if you get a fascinator that's very small, are you not going for tradition? I'd never needed a fascinator in my life, and here I was trying to walk this tightrope of don't go too big and don't go too small. It was a nightmare. In November 2018, just days after the couple returned from their successful tour to Australia, it was reported that Meghan had thrown a tiara tantrum shortly before her wedding. This was said to be because the tiara she wanted to wear was not available. Prince Harry was reportedly irate when his fiancée did not get what she wanted. Andrew Morton, author of Meghan, a Hollywood Princess, later wrote, The Queen's formidable dresser, Angela Kelly, who is the guardian of Her Majesty's jewelry, is said to have informed the Duchess of Sussex that the certain security protocols had to be adhered to in order to access the priceless piece. Harry would have none of it, telling anyone who would listen, what Meghan wants, Meghan gets. Of course, he didn't say this, but his ringing phrase did her no favors. Additionally, royal biographer Tom Bauer said Meghan refused to adhere to the rules of the firm or conform. He pointed out how when Hussey and other close companions of the Queen visited Meghan in Nottingham Cottage to offer help and advice. Accordingly, they demanded she join their society with unquestioned loyalty to the Crown. However, it was evident that Meghan was insistent that she would not allow Buckingham Palace to shape her.